so we can't do that. Ooh, that's a good plan. Okay. Greg Adams with a K from Wedding Film School with Danny. Who are you? Amorable. Amorable. <laughs> so you may recognize Danny from BTS surrounding the days of weddings that we've shot. So you shot two weddings. I've three. shot three weddings. Three now. Yeah. Hot damn. It's been pretty fun because uh, it's been a real learning curve. It's a different way of filming because it's like it's actual documentary shooting and you're kind of like in it and you can't like really like back away or like or like getting anybody's way, so you're really like the fly on the wall all the time. That's basically what it you always It sucks are. following me and having my voice in your ear all day. I will say, <laughs> I will say that the first time that I did do it, you remember how I was. I was just like, can I help you out with something? Because you were doing a solo shoot, mm -hmm. and you were just like, no, I don't want any help. Like, just leave me alone. Just yeah. let me just do what I have to do. I was just, but you look like you're struggling. I was like, that's what I want. That drama. <laughs> so let's start at the beginning. Are you a filmmaker? Yeah. Uh, I've been... Are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing a black shirt, dead. I've been a filmmaker for the past seven years, and I currently work at a Chinese television company, and I'm a camera operator for them. Uh, if you watch Craig's vlog, you can, you can see the office that I work at. It, it's, it has the best green screen ever. Yeah, we troll your green screen, yeah. your sound booth. It's the sound booth. booth. So like, I, I also do uh, wedding films on the side, and I discovered your channel, I want to say, around like two years ago. Yeah. And so, yeah, I've been like, following ever since then. And then you were doing the You Now, like when you were you were sponsoring that, that whole thing. And you were doing something that YouTubers don't usually do. You were doing like live chats with the fans, no matter where they were. And then uh, we'd queue up video chats with like people right, who wanted to. Right, right. Didn't you jump on one of those? Yeah, I, I jumped on one of those. Yeah. Uh, we chatted. Yeah, we were talking about Babes, cameras, cigars, weddings. Cigars, guns, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about cameras, weddings, drones, airport security, and stuff like that. And then I remembered that you posted that you needed a PTS shooter, and I volunteered myself. And you're like, okay, cool. Like, send me your info, and I'll, let's yeah. let's link up. I was like, how can I use you? Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and then after that, it was. Uh, here we are now. That's basically how, how it all went down. I remember like we were we were like sitting down, we met up for coffee and like we were sitting down, we were talking about how to shoot the, the BTS. What was it about the BTS that that was lacking already? And like we talked about a few ideas and we kind of just like winged the whole thing. So it was, it was really, really fun. Because Wedding Film School was actually an idea that I had in college and I treated the development of that pilot, I guess, as my thesis right before I left and graduated. Uh, that was like the big project that I kind of fleshed out and then pitched to my professors. I, I thought I was gonna like get it on TV. I was going to approach Bravo and be like, <laughs> amazing. But no, um, little did I know, I just had to produce something and put it on YouTube. Building a community is the first step to making it a success. It was kind of a poorly fleshed out idea that Danny took and actually made work and, and put into, you know, terms that we could talk about, like interviews and GoPro. He actually shot it. Yeah, it was, it was fun. So we posted your fresh work, Stephanie and Julian's wedding yeah. a week ago. Have you scoped the comments? Yeah. Do you want to check that out real quick? I did. Are there any that just like jump out to you? Well, I do Hold like- on, we don't need to watch this, but I liked my own video. Did you? <laughs> any of these jump out at you? Well, I like I like this one, the Amanda Lou. That's actually my girlfriend. Really? Yeah, she, oh, she okay. Like, She's she got actually, that 13 yeah, up. Yeah, she she wanted to, to comment. I bet you guys thought that she was like a natural <laughs> wedding filmmaker. She was actually like skeptical, like thinking like, Love do they the know? the way this was shot and edited. <laughs> Easy to follow and very <laughs> thorough. Especially yeah. appreciated the picture on picture shot. Yeah. Wow. See? You planted that. Yeah, yeah Damn, I did. man. Played. Played yeah. all the Wedding Film School subscribers. Hit that like button. How wow. many times did I say fuck? Apparently somebody counted 58, 58 <laughs> times. Someone did not count. <laughs> Why didn't they just put 69? Can you imagine? Oh, that would've been good. You guys. Wow. Can we just talk about the one thing that you fucked up? <laughs> oh, the phone number thing? So. Hopefully, I don't want to bring it to attention, so okay. let's not talk about that. <laughs> Here's what happened. Here is what happened. So I'm putting all this stuff in, and Alan brings up this really, really cool point of 
um, of using the itinerary for the day and using that as your background because otherwise, otherwise you're gonna have to take your phone out, unlock it. You have to like look for it in the itinerary rather than just making that your wallpaper. So so automatically when you when you open your phone, it just it just pops up right there. So I'm thinking to myself, oh, that's like smart, really really good smart idea. Mm -hmm. And so include that. So why not include that? Damaging so, piece of information. <laughs> so I put it in, and the worst part about it is it. Well, if you guys saw the original one the where the time is it's right over my phone number so <laughs> so both uh craig and and alan's and the bride and groom's phone number is just all over the internet now i mean whoever managed to get it right <laughs> so this is so i had to put in this blur thing luckily youtube allowed me to do this without taking the video down but how fucking janky is that shit you guys don't even get to see like the whole <laughs> Looks like a 90 minutes or 60 minutes episode. It looks like a fucking porn scene. It's just like a mosaic. They just like blur it no out. No one's like, gonna know what was there. There's people having sex but on Alan's phone. Alan is a perv. I've gotten a couple texts <laughs> and a couple random ass no caller ID. <laughs> fucking. The good thing about it is that you can block nowadays, so. Yeah. Or Before you shot this wedding, I feel like you, you kind of had your equipment on point for this one. Mm -hmm. Was there, for the first one, your equipment was not on point? <laughs> no, so so I own a, a C100 Mark II and I bought that. Yeah, so like when I bought it, I was under the impression that, okay, so this is pretty much all I'm going to need for for the things that I'm going to be shooting. So it's always like ENG stuff, doc edits and stuff like that. I'm thinking it, it, it's enough, like what I have. But then I realized that no, it's not. So with the L glass lenses they, that it comes with, the stock lenses, for some reason the motor inside doesn't really work with the exposure. So you have to get a different type of lens, which I didn't know about. And it's called an STM lens. When I shot the first one, every time I, we would go from like an outside to an inside location, I would have to like roll the ND uh, rocker. You got some good footage yeah. you can put over. Yeah, so <laughs> me just running inside, outside, inside, outside. There was a lot. Fucking castle. But yeah, so after shooting the first one, like I noticed that there was like a lot of things like wrong. Like the my road labs that I was using on you, they kept dying out. So I had to keep switching batteries. The road uh, link? Uh, yeah, the road link. Uh, the Sennheiser is better now, right? Yeah. So we switched to the Sennheiser and those were beautiful we had we got two batteries they were fully charged yeah. well like the best th that i would recommend for using for for bts uh weddings yeah. is gonna be in the link uh, you were, were you handheld or on, a, on a uh so the first time i was handheld but then the second time i just went straight monopod and that was smarter and that was way smarter way smarter because i can always just like leave the camera there um if i have to check something on the camera you don't have to like kind of like put it down or anything like that just keep it rolling on whatever that's the other thing that what about a locking monopod like that i definitely like have this. to get that is i think that would be a smart thing to do have. the new man photos have a locking uh, I, I haven't tried it yet but from what i've seen online review wise the base just isn't wide enough Really? I'm still liking this series. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna stick with this one, the carbon fiber three. I recommend that one then, because anything that can keep the camera just still while you walk away from it, and especially yeah, the legs are way wider, especially on your camera. Like, is this 16 to 35 wide, or do you want telephoto? I think 24 to 105 was best, was like my go-to ones mm -hmm. for most of the day. I never really had to go too wide to like a 16 because I was always like away from you. You never like the only time that I would do that is if I was always like on you yeah. the whole entire time. But pretty much the whole entire day, I was always like trying to be far away from you, zooming in, uh, not really, mm -hmm. not really trying to get in your way. Because that was the whole point of doing the BTS. It's to be there, but not be seen. Jason, he actually did a really, really cool video where he was talking about Oh, the, the, what it was like yeah, to shoot. What it was like to shoot. So if you, guys, really if, cool if you guys watch that video, that's a really, really good video. The, He's adorable and awesome. He's yeah. going to be a, a big, big deal on YouTube. Okay. Subscribe to his channel. Oh. Hey! This commercial unofficially brought to you by Kit.com. <laughs> if you are a creative professional, you should be on Kit. Why? Because any influence you make, people can click on those links and you'll make a commission. You can make money off of convincing people to buy things on Amazon or b &H in the US sure. or internationally. Exactly. Everyone who makes influence should make a cut. Exactly. Kit.com. <laughs> All right, back to the 
back to your regularly schedule. <laughs> so editing the, the BTS was, was really, really killer because we didn't have a sync thing for any time that you were shooting and I was shooting at the same time. Synchronizing the footage that I shot yeah. for the wedding right. with the actual long clips of BTS that Ooh. you shot on the C100. Right, right. Basically, I had to look for like little like details in the clip itself, yeah. like a sound or a movement that you did that I could see yeah. from from my camera to your camera. And did you clip. try Pluralize or anything like that? Because technically there's wireless audio mm -hmm. capturing to the camera. The sounds were, were way too different. Way to way too different like it was like clear audio okay. from your from your mic and then the audio that you're getting from yeah. your road so what if we put uh, some kind of uh time code okay. i wouldn't even know how okay know so work. i'm pretty sure there's instead of just using waveform we can just set up the time code synchronize between the two cameras and then it will sync everything with numbers instead of waveform i think that would probably be good i know that uh sony camera has time code okay so then, yeah. and i also know that there are like physical time code jammers that you can just put and attach that would be awesome yeah. for next time link in the description check out his kit <laughs> follow danny's instagram troll him and then unfollow <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna cut okay. i'm gonna cut that camera